Good evening, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to our Twilight Talks on Abraham. And today we are in Genesis 13, verses 3 through 8. And he went on his journey from the south as far as Bethel, to the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Bethel and Ai, to the place of the altar which he had made there at first. And there Abram called on the name of the Lord. Lot also, who went with Abram, had flocks and herds and tents. Now the land was not able to support them that they might dwell together, for their possessions were so great they could not dwell together. And there was strife between the herdsmen of Abram's livestock and the herdsmen of Lot's livestock. The Canaanites and the Perizzites then, then dwelt in the land. So Abram said to Lot, Please let there be no strife between you and me and between my herdsmen and your herdsmen, for we are brethren. All right. So... What it says back there in verse 2, Abram was very rich in livestock. Apparently, Lot wasn't doing too bad either. Now, why did Lot have so much? You hang out with blessed people, you'll end up blessed somehow. The blessing of God upon Abraham overflowed onto Lot. <clears throat> From this event forward, Lot will learn righteousness with Abram. Lot will remove himself from the blessing because of what is going to happen here. But the simple fact is how much blessing, how wealthy was Abraham? Remember in chapter 12, it said Abraham took, you know, their stuff and their slaves and they went down into Egypt. And then they get to Egypt and Pharaoh dumps a ton of stuff on him. Pharaoh tells him, keep all the stuff and you, my servants, help him go to the edge of the country peacefully. But make sure he leaves, please. And say, well, that wasn't. Um, no, that was real nice of Pharaoh. Um, Pharaoh was absolutely terrified of God. Whatever deity, and, and you say, how do you know that? Whether or not Pharaoh knew about Jehovah God, and you said, well, okay, Elohim, um, or El Shaddai, since El Shaddai is predominantly what, what he was called during the time of Abraham. He knew this, whatever deity was with Abram was able to do stuff on a larger scale quicker and more unmistakably than the gods of Egypt. And it terrified him. And so what he had already given to Abram, hmm, you keep it. Abram went in with a bunch of stuff. He left with a bunch of wealth. God said, I will bless you, Abram. And then he says, and I'll bless him who blesses you, and I'll curse him who curses you. And Lot's with him, and so Lot, by default, is being blessed too. And it's enough that the land can't sustain them both. And Abram with his statement, we be brethren, okay? And, uh, you know, the simple fact, and, and Tyler and I have been talking about this over the last few days, I get tired when people are like, oh, brothers and sisters means X, Y, Z. No, it doesn't, not in the scripture. Lot is technically Abram's what? Nephew, right? Nephew. They didn't have a word for nephew. If you were a male relative, you were a brother. If you were a female relative, guess what you were, Tyler? A uh, sister. A sister. And if you had aunts and your mother died, you know what you frequently called them back then? Sister. Mm -hmm. Mother. Mm -hmm. Because remember when Rachel dies... And Joseph has his dream. He says, I saw you and mother. Mm -hmm. Talking about Leah, right? Talking about Leah. 
Joseph called Leah mother after the death of his mother, even though Joseph was already, uh, you know, probably around 10 or 12 years old would be my guess. Benjamin, she died in childbirth with Benjamin. Benjamin never knew her, so Leah was the only mother he ever knew, but Joseph knew his mother. But once his mother died, the reigning female of the family with his father became his mother. And so just something to keep in mind when you read the Bible. You say, why are you saying that? Because I get so sick and tired of people. Oh, they were quit arguing for literal brothers and sisters on stuff. I don't care if the Greek had a word for it. The Hebrew and the Aramaic didn't. So Lot's his nephew. He says we are brothers. We're kinsmen. And uh, we'll see starting next week. What happens with Lot, what happens with the breakup of this blessing, and, and how some of these other pieces work out. Main point tonight, though, to get is the wealth of Abraham was so much, and Lot was blessed by association so much, that the region of the land could not sustain both their flocks. That's how wealthy he was because of God's blessing. From Brian Reagan, this is Tyler Kelly. And tell them when we can see him again, Tyler. We can see them again this Sunday at 9.30 uh, Eastern Time at the Lake Butler Church of Christ, um, either in live stream or in person for our Bible class. And then at 10.30 in the morning, gosh, uh, for our morning services, um, either live stream or in person. All right. Until then, have a good night.